Guys, I absolutely love my truck, and what I've come to realize after having a YouTube channel for a while and reviewing pretty much every make and model is that I love a lot of other trucks as well. For me, my specific truck right now is perfect, and I really can't think of getting another truck until GM and Ram come out with their 2500, 3500 series trucks. That being said, I really believe that if you are a fan of a specific make and model of truck, you should really take a moment and drive a competing brand just to see what you think. Give yourself an unbiased feel of what the competition's doing and if you really like it. You might just be surprised that the brand you've hated for so long might not really be that bad. What's going on guys? So when I did the install video for the built right rack system for the back of my truck, I talked a lot about this water port and the fact that I wanted to reposition it to the built right rack. A lot of people chimed in and wanted to know what the heck a water port is and apparently missed the video where I explained it. So for those of you that missed that video, you can watch this video. So a modification that I did today on my water port was to reinstall the factory mounting system that came with the water port. If you recall, when I got this built right installed, I used the grips. They're these rubber uh, big clamps that essentially are attached to the back of the built right rack system. What I wanted to do, though, was allow the water port to just be a little bit more secure. Those rubber clamps just didn't do a good job of keeping it from moving around. So I attached the water port's OEM bracket to the actual built right rack, and it works a lot better. It's a lot more secure. It doesn't move around. When I come back here after a trip, it doesn't look like it's shifted at all. So for those of you wondering what a water port is, it is a portable pressurized water tank and it's designed to be exactly that. So what I mean by that is there's a lot of folks who can build these out of PVC pipe and they've shown it before, especially overlanders who want to carry water around with them. They've been able to make four or five, six gallon units. This one is a little over three and a half gallons. However, the benefit of this specific system is its size, the fact that it's designed specifically for this function, and it's also designed to store potable water. What is also nice about this system is that it comes complete, that you get everything you need and you're not trying to figure out what parts you need if you want to run back to the store. The truth of the matter is, if you are handy with tools, you can probably design just about anything for a fraction of the price of what it's going to cost to go out and buy it. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on people who have made their own fifth wheel hitch and made their own gooseball hitch to mount in the bed of their truck. And they've done it for pennies using scrap metal or materials that they had, but they were also really good at welding. And it's not necessarily something I would ever want to take on myself in terms of making something like that. Water port's kind of the same way. You can be creative, just like a lot of people are, and you could probably come up with a way of putting a system like this in your vehicle. I like the fact that the folks at Waterport have already done it for you. Now this is their generation one unit. They now have a second generation unit that's actually come down in price quite a bit. This one was about $250 and the new one I believe is $200 but it comes with everything you need to mount it to your vehicle. They've also improved the design of the unit as well. So the mounting brackets, the way it mounts to the vehicle is a little bit more sleek and the water port unit itself is just designed a little bit better. You can tell it's definitely a generation two version of this. Sorry if you hear the seagulls yelling at me. They've all of a sudden decided to flock my way. But if you want to see how this thing works, you essentially have this quick release port on the side here that also has a pressure release built into it. You take this quick release valve, you attach it to the end of your water hose, plug it into the end of the water port, turn on your water. It will automatically fill the water port and pressurize it at the same time. Once it reaches the correct pressure and the correct water level, this will pop out, it'll stop. You turn off the water supply, disconnect this, and your tank is ready to go. When you're ready to use it, you simply use the included hose and multi-sprayer, plug it in to the end of your water port, and you have water. 
So that's essentially how the system works. A fully pressurized filled tank is going to last you about three minutes of constant water spray. If you're going to be taking a quick shower, if you're going to be using it to wash your shoes off, if you have a pet that got dirty, if you have a mountain bike and you want to rinse it off real quick, you can make this thing last quite a bit longer than that if you use you know small bursts of water. Now there is a significant amount of pressure, so it is not like it's just going to dribble water out. Like if I put this on the jet setting you'll see you know you get a significant amount of water pressure coming from it and it's absolutely a very convenient system they've designed it to be almost universally flexible in how it can attach to your vehicle and i really like it i've used it several times especially to clean off dirt and debris from the mountain bike when i take it out and to clean off any kind of tools or equipment in the back of the truck and i used it also to wash my hands every time i go out to the rv to do some type of an upgrade like install the bulldog landing gear my hands were filthy when i was done and it really was nice to have a portable water system to rinse your hands off as opposed to bottled water that you're you know spraying or pouring on your hands anyways this system is very nice it's very convenient and it's affordably priced in my opinion two hundred dollars is not a bad price for something that's been engineered and designed to meet the task you know if you're really handy with tools and you know how to make things out of pvc pipe you could probably make something similar to this if you really put your mind to it i know there's youtube videos out about making you know your own version of this but I personally prefer when a company has done the engineering, the design, made it safe for potable water, and really put the time and effort needed into making a good quality product into practice, and they design it for you so you don't have to do it yourself. In my opinion, it's just a really nice, convenient system, and I highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, I just want to do this quick overview, especially because I moved it from the built right, I think they're called quick fists, the mounts that hold it up against the side to the original water port, um, kind of a U-shaped tray that holds it in place, and it's secured very well to the side. I mean, it is really secure to the side of the truck, and I'm really happy with it. It's conveniently located now at the very back of my truck, so I really don't have to lean in. Before, it was right above that, uh, that fender flare on the inside, and you had to pretty much get into the back of the truck to access it. Now, I simply walk up to the back when I'm done, Release my quick release valve, put my hose back inside the back of the truck, and I'm good to go. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, we'll talk to you again soon.